I'm out here at Al's Garden and Home. I'm with Mark, and Mark, it's Christmas season. Yeah. And you know, we, there's been a lot of talk about Christmas trees this year. Yes. We just came off a really hot summer. Yeah. And you know, on Christmas trees, the live ones really took a beating and got some burn on them. Yeah, well, all the Christmas tree growers we're talking to, yeah, they had some severe burn this year for right. sure. And we were coming in, there was a shortage of trees to start with, and then you add the burn on top of that. Yeah. But you guys have, you know, there's alternatives to, yep. to the, the living Christmas tree. Yeah. And then, you know, so we're standing in here, you know, you have some a great selection of all sorts of either like flocked or, you know, you know, the green trees too, yeah. they're all pre-lit. So there's a yeah. lot more variation and excitement for what you can do with the tree these days. There really is. And you know, over the past few years, there's been so many advances with these trees. You know, they've made them look so much more lifelike, so much right. real. Like these trees that look like a, a snowed on noble fir. Right. I mean, the, the detail that they go into anymore is just spectacular. Right, there's so many different styles. You know, the narrow ones like yeah. this for the yeah. people that have those corner pieces or right. you know, there's one down there that's even you know limbed up you all behind a couch right right so there's so much more more options for for what you can do yeah absolutely. you know and pricing on a tree like this yeah. versus you know alive is yeah not that much different yeah well they're definitely more expensive but right. when you consider you know these trees will last for years and years you know by the time you buy a fresh cut tree every year right um, this would easily you know outlast that and, and be more economical right it looks like you know a lot of them already come with the lights on it yeah, it makes it super easy. You store them, you just hold them up, put them in a box, put them away, right. and you come out and plug in the lights and they're all lit, ready to go. Right. Really so nice. you make you know, a little bit of investment, but it's gonna pay off over time. Absolutely. You know, and I find myself, I'm a mo little bit more of a traditional kind of a tree guy, where I still like yeah. to go out and pick up you know, a, a fresh yeah, tree. Absolutely. And you guys carry those too, right? Yeah, we do. We still, um, fortunately, we are growing our own trees, and so uh, the heat didn't affect us as much, and so we'll have a great supply. But yeah, we bring in fresh cut trees throughout throughout the end of November and through December. Right, and you're flocking them also? Yeah, we flock them. That's become very, very popular. You know, people like that custom um, snow look on them. Sure. And so we do that quite a bit now. Right, you know, and you talked about some of the benefits, you know, the, you know, fake trees do have a benefit to them. Yeah, absolutely. Not, not just do they look realistic anymore, but, you know, for safety. You know, there's not the fire hazard that you have with the live tree. Um, you don't have to worry about watering them. Right. Uh, and, and they're not as messy. You know, you don't have needles dropping all over. You can set them up and, and they're ready to go. You know, so if you're looking for a tree for your house, make sure you come down to Al's. They have four locations. Pick up a live tree, a fresh tree, or a pre-flocked, or, you know, get an artificial for your last years to come. So, Mark, yeah. thanks for all the information. Yeah, thank you.